First of all, uh, you know, I got to be honest with you and tell you I was really nervous about this game coming in because the Georgia Tech team that I watched play against Wake Forest, I knew we wasn't getting that team. Um, I, I don't know what other schools in our conference has beaten Duke, Carolina, and Clemson. That is a very good basketball team that we just beat that fights, and they fight. So my hat goes off to our guys, and this win is about them and their determination to fight through and win a game with their defense finishing the last eight minutes, 32 to 11. That goes to show that we are capable of being a pretty good defensive team. Um, we made mistakes, but I'm proud of the way they fought. It's why with young players and young teams, you never give up. Um, you keep pushing them. You keep fighting them to be better. Um, KG today, Caleb Glenn was unbelievable. Uh, 15 and 13 rebounds willed us to win. Those rebounds were huge. Um, Trey White struggling to shoot the ball, knew it was going to come to him. Mike James makes a great drive. His man sucks in, hits him in the corner. Great shot. Uh, Mike James hadn't been shooting the ball well, really concerned about it in his mind. A run a play for him, he comes off and knocks down a three. That's what this is about. Giving them the confidence and allowing them to trust themselves to be to be the players that they want to be. Uh, questions? Um, you talked about the uh, game changing run there at the end. Just uh, um, what do you think uh, gave your players, you know, um, that level of confidence after you know they had a slower start um, to this game, um, you know, in terms of scoring than you know. Um, on the last two, and it seemed like they're you know they're getting easy buckets, um, you know. I don't know. I don't know how easy the buckets were for them, but um, I do know that they kept with it. The team was sagging in initially, and we kept moving the ball and trying to get them to loosen up. And as the game went on, they did loosen up, and we got to drive the ball down the lane and create fouls and create shots for each other. Um, Brandon got them in some foul trouble. Uh, KG did a good job of posting hard. You know, that's what this is, is to keep doing what you're doing until they submit to you. Kenny, how much does Caleb kind of embody the spirit of, of what you're trying to instill here? I mean, I, I'm assuming you're not even really calling any plays for him on offense, and he still is just out there scrapping. Well, I love the fact that, you know, I trust him. Um, I just need him to continue to grow as a basketball player, uh, to be the player that, that he wants to be. Um, and know what his foundation is, toughness, rebounding, defending. Uh, he made plays that at times Brandon couldn't make or wouldn't make. Uh, walling up when somebody's driving and jumping and making sure they miss. Uh, snatching rebounds above the rim with two hands. Uh, things that, you know, you look for players to do, he, did, he does it naturally. He just has to know and, and learn that he has to do it more consistently. I'm proud of him. I'm happy with the way he played. I hope he builds on it. I, I told him in the locker room, I told you this a week ago, kid, you're no longer a freshman. You, you've earned that right. Same with Curtis. Same with Tyler. You know, you've seen enough basketball now to know that you, you transferred or gradu graduated to sophomore status. Kenny, coming off an emotional week, uh, and specifically an emotional loss, the way that you guys had against Syracuse, to watch the way that your team fought today and, and to close out a game, what does that say about this team and, and the work that they've been putting in and, and the importance to see that that work is paying off? I think it's vital. I think it's everything, to be honest with you, because we do work hard. There are times they question everything I'm doing. Um, we're conditioning every day, every day. I won't let go of it. Um, they don't like it, but when I watch them play a game and I see the other team get tired and we're still cruising and we're still fighting, that shows that the conditioning is working regardless if they like it or not. Um, I'm proud of them because, look, the game was in the balance and the end of the game, we went on a run. We got stops and we went on a run. We made them miss and we got rebounds. Um, that shows that we are still getting better. Still got a long way to go. We're still trying to perfect some things. But I'm happy and pleased with everybody that went into the game and, and they contributed. When you beat Florida State last week, you had, I think, four guys in double figures. Tonight you had six. 
Do you think your players are starting to understand that I don't have to do it all myself, that other guys can do it too? I'm hoping that they understand that at times, Rick, to be honest with you, uh, they struggle with it. They struggle with not being the guy that takes five dribbles and sees what's there and then they take the shot. But I think they're learning and getting more comfortable learning that we have a good team of good players that if we can win, we're going to win How a different way of saying it. If we're going to win, we're going to win with a combination of guys playing well on the same night. To have six guys scoring double figures says a lot. Um, I think we're trending in the right direction. We still got a lot of work to do, but it's, you can see the progress in this team. Uh, Kenny, towards the end of that game, the crowd really seemed into it. It might be a little cliche to say that, you know, crowds impact on a game, but when it goes that long without hearing a crowd get loud like that, how much of an impact does it have when they're getting into it? I think these kids, we live in a generation where they love affirmation. Um, and so to see the crowd embrace them and, and fight through a critical time and, and take a lead and do it decisively, uh, and the fans all supported them and cheered for them, and it was loud in there. I think they need to hear that. Um, to be honest with you, um, met with a family this morning of one of the players, and they said, like, there's so much negativity. How do you deal with it? How does I get my son to deal with all this negativity from the media, from social media, from everywhere we turn, there's all this negativity about this program. And I just tell them, you have to be like me. We come to work every day, and I focus on one thing. How do I get this team better? We win, the negativity will go away. We don't, it's going to stay there. <laughs> it's just what it is. So. Yeah. I mean, you held Kelly there um, to just, I think he scored at one point there during the final eight minutes. Was there anything that you did differently in terms of you know, guarding him, you know, uh, putting a different player on him, just um, to, to try to slow him down? I thought Sky Clark was unbelievable down the stretch. I thought he, when we put Sky on him, he denied him, um, denied him the ball and, and made it hard for him to catch it. Um, that's what winning players do. They find a way. It's not about scoring the basketball. It may be about denying a guy from getting the basketball, Brooks, and, and that may change the course of the game. The kid was hot in the first half. We had problems with him down the stretch of the game. We wore him down. We put different people on him, and he – he didn't have as much success as he did the first half. Anything else, Coach? Uh, all right, thank you all. All right, thanks, guys.